down the bottom, I just noted from the yard, gee, she's a beautiful filly by microphone. Uh, and her name's Noises, Bruce. Yeah, she was uh, absolutely glowing. So, in a way, big day for Tommy Berry here, isn't it? Um, he hasn't won a Group 1 for a little while. And for the Hawks, it's been three years since the Hawks team have won a Group 1, and they get a good chance here. A huge couple of stories here as well. Josh Parr, he's looking for his third spring champion. As you said, Tommy hasn't won one for two years. It feels like the renaissance of Tommy Berry would be complete if he were to win this Group 1 here today. Nathan Doyle looking for his first, as is Will Friedman. David Payne, a master trainer with RAG, Queen, Firm Agreement. Tommy Sherry looking for his first Group 1. So there are stories galore. Nearly all locked and loaded. Here's Darren Flindell for the call of the spring champion stakes. Field of 10. And they're off and racing. Henline jumped fairly off the inside. El Costello left well together with noises. Flying Argento. And now Henline's driving right along the rails, trying to hold a lot of them out. Harlem Queen bursts through the pack, followed then by Pleasure Artist, who plonks down on the fence. Firm agreement slots over on the outside of Rag Queen and Swift Falconer has dropped back to last from the wide gate. So Noises goes on with the job now and Noises looking for an outright lead. Henline under restraint and now the favourite El Costello strides to a clear second. So Josh Parr's taken bad luck out of the equation. Favourite running second, Henline third, flying a Jetto back to fourth. They're followed then by over on the inside to Pleasure Artist, racing on the inside of Harlan Queen, then Duke Calzini, Rag Queen, Firm Agreement, and Swift Falcon is back last of all. So it's Noises in front approaching the 1,100 metres. Noises out by a length and a half on El Costello, who appears to have switched off very nicely there in second position. He's shooting for four in a row today, El Costello, and a headline a lot close in the run. Park third on the inside is Flying Agento, one of the roughies, the maiden, gets going down the side of the track and puts some pepper into the race. Flying Agento takes the lead from Noises. El Costello back to third, two after Henline. They're followed then by Pleasure Artist on the inside of Harlem Queen. Then Rag Queen. Now Jay Ford's taking the opportunity to start a run on Swift Falcon at the 600. Dropping Duke Calcini and also Firm Agreement. Coming to the turn and flying a jetto. Showing the stick now from Noises coming up again. El Costello chimes in three wide. Two further back to Henline. Five further back to Swift Falcon is making good headway. El Costello takes the lead inside the 300 with Henline closing in. Still several away to Swift Falcon. It's El Costello and Henline head and head on the inside. El Costello from Henline. It's going to be a fight to the end. El Costello's lifting from Henline and El Costello won the spring champion fending off Henline and firm agreement ran through into third followed by Harlem Queen. Then Pleasure Artist, Swift Falcon with too much to do. Missed the top four or five at the end. Then Noises, further back to Flying at Jetto, who certainly spiced the race up a bit, finishing towards the rear with Duke Calzini. So Anthony Cummings wins it for the third time, and Josh Parr wins it for the third time. And Cathy, it just worked out so well, because when Zach Lloyd took off, it really made it just perfect for El Costello. And he was just too strong, wasn't he? He's a good horse. He really was too good in the end. And it was just such a like a superior, confident ride from Josh. Because when the filly went around and Zach injected some speed into the race, and it was needed because they were going slow. They carved out a 13 from the 1,000 to the 800, which is steady. And he just didn't go with them. He knew what he had underneath him. And then the horse was just ultimately the best horse in the race and he was very strong late Helene had his chance to run him down but he was strong I think the further they go the further he wins by one three four and eight I agree with you so he's won the gloaming double Anthony Cummings gets a 24th group one and Josh Parr at 11 here's Emma how are you? congratulations a group one for this horse who has just taken all before him this